About a week ago, we noticed what looked like Pepper's normal hair tufts that she gets during her shedding cycle. However, upon further inspection and attempts to pluck the tufts, we found a bald patch at the base of her tail. Obviously, this is a sign that there is something wrong, and after cleaning it off, we brought her to the vet to confirm our suspicions. It can be one of two things normally that causes something like this, and in Pepper's case, we found no signs of microscopic mites that cause mange, so the vet concluded it was a fungal infection. Fungal infections are somewhat common in dogs and can happen from contact with other animals, exposure in the environment, or because of an overgrowth of your dog's natural yeast normally present on your dog's body. In this case, we know that Pepper recently caught and killed several field mice and a large rat, so it's very possible that she was exposed this way. The higher heat we've had this summer can encourage small animals seeking shelter to come into contact with your animals at home, and the high humidity in our local area may also contribute to the increased risk of fungi exposure. This is a closer look at the bear scan that caught our attention. Keep in mind this is after it has been thoroughly cleaned, so remember it could be crusty or flaky and will probably be very itchy for your dog. If you notice any of these symptoms, contact your vet right away to begin treatment. Now that we have identified what it is, here's what you can do to treat it. First, apple cider vinegar is easy to get and very good at killing microbes and other forms of infections on skin. It can be very helpful for soothing minor skin irritation and is easy to find at most grocery stores. If you can't get to the vet right away, this is a good place to start to begin cleaning and soothing any skin irritation. All you need to do is put a little on a dry paper towel or cotton swab and gently clean the affected area and let the spot air dry. This will help kill any residual bacteria or other infection and allow the skin to begin healing naturally. In Pepper's case, our vet gave us an antibiotic to give her once a day and provided an antifungal shampoo to wash the spot with twice a week. This will help not only treat the infection, but also help prevent it from spreading to our other animals and even to us. For an infection like this, it is important to see your vet and confirm what's going on. They can then prescribe antibiotics and provide suggestions for topical solutions to help heal the skin faster. All you need to do with the shampoo is wash the area in question so it does not require a full bath experience.
finally, you can apply topical creams like Lamisil that contain terbinafine hydrochloride, like our vet recommended for us. This can help spot treat any other areas that you might notice on your infected dog, any other animals that you might notice similar issues with, or even yourself if you notice a rash on your own skin, knowing that a fungal infection exists in your home. It's important to try and treat these kinds of infections as quickly as possible because they can spread very easily between pets and people. We hope this is a helpful insight to identify potential fungal infections. Remember, it's important to consult your vet for expert advice when there are any medical issues with your dog. Thank you for watching and we hope this was helpful. Remember to spay and neuter your pets and please be kind to animals. Good girl, Pepper. Good girl.